that she's getting a thrill off of doing this. I mean, look, she has a subtle smile and she's antagonizing him. So I'm paying fifteen hundred in child support and I can't see my baby. No. Take her to court. But okay, you got so what? Look at that face, bro. Look at her face. You can just tell exactly why she's doing this and exactly the kind of emotion she gets out of doing this. Pure evil. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well, taking care of yourselves, and welcome back to the summer marathon, man. Listen, we are on a grind. If you don't know, we're on a summer marathon right now. Basically, what that means is we're going to be active all summer. All you're going to get from the channel, God willing, right? is some crazy back-to-back -back 10 out of 10 videos so if you're new here all i ask is bro if you watch the video fully through and you enjoy it you actually rock with it make sure you sub up and join us don't be a robot like that's the worst thing bro like is if you're a robot you watch the video through you like it you enjoy it and then you forget to sub man what's wrong with you but in all seriousness bro let's take a look at this this video says that this uh it says don't have kids <laughs> and then it's captioned mad baby mama won't let the father see his daughter because he has a girl plus 15 so he's paying 1500 dollars a month in child support why would she not hold on what baby why you come out here without my baby and why are you recording me? baby in house First thing I noticed, I literally have supervision, bro. I have Sasuke Sharingan eyes when it comes to these piercings, bro. She got lip piercings and I can't. I can, Listen, she has lip piercings, but I don't know if she has nose piercings. She's too far away to tell, but I'll tell you right now, unless that's her like spit dripping, which would be nasty. I think she has lip piercings, bro. Exactly the kind of girl that will ban her kids from seeing their father. Let's see. Baby, why you come out here without my baby? And why are you recording me? Baby in house. Why you come out here without my baby? Don't you got a girlfriend? Why don't y'all go make a baby? Why are what you? What that got to do with my baby? Because um, I, I got a girlfriend. What that got to do with my baby? I don't want her around my kid. But if you got a boyfriend, it's, it's cool. So you Why can bring a boy. Why are you worried about me? So you can bring a boy. A, a look, boy. look at that face, bro. Look at that face. Y'all got to understand, bro. That, And in this case, I'm like, I don't I was gonna say how did he like how was he not able to tell but i guess it's oh well, actually not he still should be able to tell bro there's there are certain signs that you pick up on and it could be as little as seeing your girl being way too active on social media specifically twitter um and the reason i say that is because y'all gotta understand that social media is literally a brain rot disease when it comes to your girl bro if your girl is on social media, guess what? Especially if she's in a really good like relationship with you, like everything is going good. You guys are married. You guys are together. You guys have kids, planning on having kids, whatever. My point is like your life is going perfectly. If your girl is on social media too much, guess what's going to start happening, bro? The brain dead, brain rot, lonely, just sad huzz who don't have a real relationship, who are ruined, who basically slept with the block are going to be out on the internet at giving advice when it comes to how to deal with the kids or how to deal with your man your man should be doing this point is if your girl's on social media too much this is exactly what's gonna happen but let me tie that back to what i was saying just look at her face bro you can tell right off the bat that she's doing this on purpose but not only that that she's getting a thrill off of doing this i mean look she has a subtle smile and she's antagonizing him She's antagonizing him over something that is super dear to his heart, bro. That's his kids. <laughs> that, those are literally your children. And she knows that that's something that she can always hang over his head and she can get money from him, bro. So it just reinforces my point that some of these huzz are just evil, man. Seriously. And nine out of 10 times, the reason why she's acting like this is because somebody else either in real life or on the internet was telling her that she should ban the father from seeing the kids or some shit because that's just what miserable evil people do so oh man boy but i can't bring no girl around no so i'm paying 1500 in child support and i can't see my baby no take her to court take her to court and that's i hate that i even have to say that because in my mind bro like the states are cooked man 
seriously i y'all know my age bro my whole life i swear to god i never thought this shit was was as bad as it is like even looking back at some some kids that were i was in school with back in like elementary and middle school like looking back at it bro a lot of them just didn't have fathers in their life a lot like half my friends did not have fathers in their life bro and what that does is it like when you grow up and you start seeing how evil these these th this whole marriage shit can be bro how up this entire situation is when it comes to people having to go to court for their kids having to go to court for their divorce having to pay money having to literally sign a document that legally binds them together all basically the more you grow up and the more you mature and you look at this shit the more you realize how much of a scam it is bro how much of a disaster all this shit is seriously and how much of a headache it can be i mean at this point bro he's literally incentivized to just be a deadbeat <laughs> and i'm not saying he should if you if you leave your kids you're a coward that's i'll never change but explain it to me bro why would you want to deal with this goddamn headache when you could just leave the kids and go on your own bro like i said i don't support that at all but i'm just saying like these huzz and these courts make it out to be like that man why are you banning a father from seeing his own kids because you're jealous he moved on with somebody else hold on man see see, see what see. why the is you recording me see, see what see what don't have kids y'all don't have kids you weird don't have kids 1500 in child support you weird 1500 child support. You i can't weird see stuff. my baby no 1500 in the house you can see the baby but that's not her so where's she at in the house so go get her. No. You can go see her. I'm not going to go get nobody. It's cold out here. 1500 in child support. Mm-hmm. Talking about, I got a girlfriend. I can't see my baby because I got a girlfriend. No, but you got a boyfriend. Yeah. But okay, you got a boyfriend. Okay, so what? look at that face bro. Look at her face. You can just tell exactly why she's doing this and exactly the kind of emotion she gets out of doing this pure evil and i don't care what anybody says man if she was worth like let's say in a situation where the girl that he moved on with is like a druggie or some shit is like a raging meth head or like a really bad influence on her kids she has every right to deny the kids from being with that woman right but in this case that's not the case i said that twice <laughs> in this situation that is not the case in this situation she moved on and she has a new man he moved on and he has a new female she is okay with her kids being with her new man but she's not okay with her kids being with their father who also has a new woman I, just a weird shitty situation to be in man and i'm not even gonna lie i kind of agree with him do not have you, listen don't have kids with these modern hus if you can't find yourself a sane good woman i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that i know exactly how to find one that doesn't have this influence rubbed all in her head just don't have kids because i'm not gonna lie this shit will ruin your life from all of these clips we've been taking a look at man because look at her face she's smiling she's happy about doing this don't have kids bro no you don't have kids y'all don't have kids you don't have kids y'all don't Y'all don't want nobody like her. Don't have kids, bro. Nah, listen, when it comes to all this stuff, man, the solution is Islam. I'm going to be honest with y'all. And I don't think I spoke about it too much beforehand on the channel. But all this shit disappears if you're Muslim, bro. Because all this degeneracy and all this brain rot and all this fairy tale, one-sided hypocrisy that these evil women live in does not exist when you're a Muslim, bro. I'm being honest. Because... I can't imagine, I genuinely cannot imagine being in a situation like this, bro. Because at that point in my mind, like, bro, my life is ruined. <laughs> like, imagine, imagine having kids with one of these girls that does this shit. A lot of these, these women that do this shit, especially if you, they do it on purpose, they're evil, bro. They're pure evil. I can't imagine living with this. It is like, it's worse than getting shot, in my opinion, bro. It's worse than the worst <laughs> because it's it involves your kids it involves your seed it involves your lineage your prodigy your kids are supposed to be something you're proud of something you i'm not saying he's not proud of them or anything but i'm just saying his kids are supposed to be something that he's not having th to go through like a super headache to 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 um to raise bro so i can't imagine i genuinely feel so much sympathy in my heart for all these guys going through this shit man and i say that because if you've been watching me for a while you know this is not the first video we've taken a look at when it involves something like this bro this is probably the 50th 
and it just continuously just gets worse and proves the point that nowadays you got to be careful man and it's not an overstatement it's just truth and the main culprit in my opinion and i don't really care if people agree with me or not bro but it is truth the main culprit is social media this shit can be a disease because like i said we've taken a look at it so many times beforehand bro other lonely degenerate dumb huzz who don't have a real good relationship who aren't satisfied in life who are lonely and miserable will give advice make videos make posts on whatever social media advising or telling other women what to do when all these other women could actually be in a perfectly mature sane lovely relationship in a long-term relationship but that brain rot slowly might get in her head bro <laughs> it's facts anyways let me see here we got one more video right yeah we do but i'm gonna save this for another clip so y'all can let me know what y'all think about this not another clip i'm gonna save that clip for another video so stay tuned for that but yeah seriously go down to comments to let me know man this is one of the worst things that could happen to anybody period like it's it's genuinely so bad because it's like life ruining bro it's one of those things that will never go away until your kids are 18 years old and they can actually be on their own if you're cursed with one of these evil girls bro your life is cooked for 18 years until this shit is resolved bro it's always gonna be constant headaches always gonna be constant i mean let alone the money that you're gonna have to spend but all it does is it incentivizes degenerate promiscuous activities if you get what i'm trying to say because as a man it's like bro why the hell would you want to be committed to one of these girls when you can just be a degenerate now i obviously stand against that that destroys you as well but y'all get what i'm trying to say right this shit incentivizes you to not be a real one bro to not take care of your kids to not want kids to not want commitment so that's why i have so much animosity when it comes to these to these people that do this to guys man because you're literally causing the, the 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 collapse of commitment in relationships bro but anyways y'all can let me know what y'all think about that good video nonetheless the summer marathon continues i hope you guys enjoyed run the likes up if you made it to this point let's see how many likes we can get on this appreciate y'all for being here and like i said let me know what y'all think about this in the comments i'm out bro